The mahogany dining table groaned under platters of holiday food, but the weight of disappointment in the room was heavier. I adjusted my plain sweater, aware of my sister Charlotte's designer outfit and mom's appraising stare. Morgan couldn't make it to the country club fundraiser again, mom announced to our assembled relatives. Too busy with her. What are you calling it now, dear? Your startup. I took a small sip of water checking my smartwatch. 6.45 p.m. Right on schedule. It's a tech company, mom. Software development. In a garage, Charlotte added with a smirk, showing off her new engagement ring. While some of us are building real careers in finance, Dad carved the turkey with precise surgeon's movements. Speaking of careers, Charlotte's firm just landed the Peterson account. Seven figures. And Morgan? Aunt Helen asked politely. Still playing with computers, Mom sighed. No presents under the tree this year. Times must be difficult. My watch vibrated softly. The message I'd been waiting for. Well, I said carefully, about that. Did you finally get a real job? Charlotte interrupted. The bank is always hiring tellers. Another vibration. The Forbes article was live. Actually, I pulled out my phone. I had a different announcement. Morgan, Dad warned, Christmas dinner isn't the time for your internet schemes. My phone started buzzing with notifications. The family WhatsApp group lit up as cousins started sharing links. Charlotte's phone chimed first. She nearly dropped it into her wine glass. This, this can't be right. What is it, darling? Mom reached for Charlotte's phone. Don't bother, I said, pulling up the Forbes website on my tablet. I have it right here. The headline filled the screen. Tech's newest billionaire. Morgan Chen's quantum computing breakthrough makes history. Dad's carving knife clattered to the floor. Quantum? Computing? He stammered. That little garage startup? I smiled. Just sold to Microsoft for $12 billion. The paperwork cleared an hour ago. Mom's wine glass froze halfway to her lips. Billion? With a B. Making me, I continued calmly, the youngest female tech billionaire in history. The Forbes cover hits newsstands tomorrow. Charlotte's perfect makeup couldn't hide her shock. But, but you're broke. You wear the same sweater every Christmas. Kashmir actually. I just don't feel the need to show off. I checked my watch again. Unlike some people's cubic zirconia engagement rings. This is a diamond. Charlotte protested. No it's not. Just like your fiancé's banking credentials aren't real. Did you know he was fired from Goldman Sachs three months ago? For lying about his MBA? The dining room went silent except for the gentle buzz of incoming notifications on my phone. How did you? Charlotte whispered. Due diligence. Something they teach you when you're running a billion-dollar tech company. I turned to mom. By the way, I did bring presents. The deeds are being delivered tomorrow. Deeds. Dad's voice cracked. To the houses. This one, the beach house in the Hamptons, the ski lodge in Aspen. I bought them all this morning. Early Christmas gift. Mom's face went white. You bought our houses. The bank was quite helpful after they saw my portfolio. Especially when they realized Dad had been lying about the mortgage payments. Dad's carefully constructed world started crumbling. Morgan, I can explain. The missed payments. The second mortgages. The credit card debt. I pulled up the documents on my tablet. No need. I've settled everything. Consider it my Christmas gift, saving the family from bankruptcy. Charlotte stood abruptly. I need to call Richard. Your fiancé. He's probably busy updating his LinkedIn. Amazing how fast news travels in banking circles. My watch buzzed again. Time magazine requesting interview. Fortune cover confirmed for January. Now. I stood, smoothing my simple sweater, I have some calls to make. Being a tech billionaire is surprisingly busy work. Morgan, mom reached for my arm, we didn't know. That's the point, isn't it? He never bothered to know. Too busy bragging about Charlotte's fake success to notice my real achievements. All those times you missed family events. Dad's voice trailed off. I was building a quantum computing architecture that just revolutionized artificial intelligence. I finished. But please, tell me more about Charlotte's customer service award at the bank. My phone wouldn't stop buzzing. Tech blogs were exploding with the news. Wall Street analysts were scrambling to understand how a 
garage startup, had just disrupted the entire computing industry. Aunt Helen was frantically googling quantum computing. It says here your breakthrough could transform everything from medicine to space exploration. Among other things, I nodded. The military applications alone were worth billions. But I chose Microsoft because they promised to keep the technology accessible. Military. Dad's fork clattered to his plate. The Pentagon was interested? Along with every major tech company, research institution and government agency worldwide. I checked my watch again. The bidding war was quite intense. Made for an interesting week. Charlotte was still staring at her phone, scrolling through article after article about her broke sister's success. The garage startup, she whispered. All those times we mocked you. Were exactly what I wanted, I smiled. The best place to build revolutionary tech is where no one's watching. While you were posting about corner offices and power lunches, I was changing the future of computing. Mom's hands shook as she reached for her wine. Twelve billion dollars. Before taxes, I added. Though my financial team is quite good at their jobs. Unlike some people's fiancés. My watch displayed another message. White House requesting private briefing on quantum implications. Now, I stood up. If you'll excuse me, the president's chief technology advisor is waiting for my call. We can discuss the house deeds tomorrow when they're delivered. Morgan. Dad started. Yes. All this time, while we thought you were struggling. I was becoming the most successful person at this table, I finished. Funny how appearances can be deceiving. Almost as deceiving as Charlotte's engagement ring. The turkey grew cold as phones around the table lit up with notifications. Cousins texting congratulations, aunts sharing news articles, uncles frantically checking their stock portfolios as Microsoft's shares soared on the announcement. Morgan, Charlotte's fiancé Richard burst into the dining room face flushed. Tell them it's not true about Goldman Sachs. Which part? I asked calmly. The fake MBA or the client fraud allegations? The crystal glasses rattled as he slammed his hands on the table. You have no right dash. Actually, I have every right. I pulled up his personnel file on my tablet. Amazing what people share when you're about to close a $12 billion deal. Your former boss was quite chatty. Charlotte's perfect world was crumbling. Richard, what is she talking about? Your fiancé has been unemployed for three months, I explained. Those business trips. He's been interviewing at regional banks, trying to stay ahead of the fraud investigation. Investigation. Dad's surgeon hands gripped his napkin. Securities fraud is quite serious, I noted. Almost as serious as lying about graduation from Wharton. Richard's face went from red to white. How did you? Quantum computing isn't my only expertise. Data analysis can reveal such interesting patterns. I checked my watch. The SEC should be calling you shortly. Charlotte yanked off her engagement ring. You said this was a family heirloom. Cubic zirconia usually isn't, I commented. Though the pawn shop receipt shows he paid a whole $299 for it. Mom's social armor finally cracked. All those country club events were funded by credit card fraud, I finished. Richard here has been living quite well on stolen identities, including, ironically, mine. Richard backed away from the table. I can explain. To the FBI? I smiled. They're very interested in your explanations, especially about the elderly clients whose accounts you emptied. My phone buzzed. FBI confirms arrest warrant issued for Richard Stanford. Agents en route. Speaking of federal agents, I showed them the message. You might want to step away from the door, Charlotte. They don't like obstacles when making arrests. As if on cue, dark SUVs appeared in the driveway, red and blue lights reflecting off the Christmas decorations. You called the FBI? Charlotte shrieked. On Christmas. Actually, they called me. Turns out when you're revolutionizing quantum computing, federal agencies take your identity theft complaints very seriously. Richard bolted for the back door. The agents were faster. Mr. Stanford, a stern voice called from the foyer. Federal agents, we have some questions about your banking activities. Charlotte collapsed into her chair as her fiancé was led away in handcuffs, her perfect Christmas dinner becoming a crime scene. Now, I turned to my stunned family about those house deeds. Morgan, please, 
Mom whispered. Haven't you humiliated us enough? Humiliated you? I raised an eyebrow. Like you humiliated me at every family gathering? Every holiday? Every time you called my work a hobby or my company a garage project? Dad found his voice. We were trying to motivate you. To what? Be more like Charlotte? Follow her example. I gestured to the FBI agents photographing Richard's discarded wallet. That worked out well. My watch buzzed again. NASA requesting consultation on quantum applications for Mars mission. While you were all mocking my internet schemes, I continued, I was building something revolutionary. Something that will change the world. And yes, something that made me richer than everyone at this table combined. The FBI agents finished their work and departed leaving behind shattered illusions and cold turkey. Charlotte sat in shocked silence, her perfect Christmas imploding around her cubic zirconia ring. The houses, Dad finally said, his surgeon's confidence gone. You really bought them all? I pulled up the deeds on my tablet, along with the country club memberships, the cars, and most of the art collection. Amazing what people will sell when they see $12 billion in verified funds. But why? Mom's voice cracked. To punish us? To save you, I corrected. Dad's gambling debts, the multiple mortgages, Charlotte's maxed out credit cards. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Charlotte's head snapped up. How did you know about my cards? The same way I knew about Richard's fraud. Data doesn't lie. I showed them the financial records. You're all broke. I've been for months. The only thing keeping up appearances was Dad's medical reputation and that's hanging by a thread after the malpractice allegations. Dad went pale. Those records were sealed. Quantum computing can unseal a lot of things, I noted. Like the real reason you stopped performing surgery. Tremors in your hands, wasn't it? Too much scotch before operations. My watch displayed another message. Time person of the year committee requesting interview. So yes, I bought everything, I continued because in three days the banks were going to foreclose. Merry Christmas, you're not homeless. Mom's carefully maintained facade crumbled. We were handling it. By digging deeper holes. Borrowing from loan sharks. Betting on Richard's non-existent banking career. I pulled up more documents. I've settled all the debts. Paid off the loans. Even handled Charlotte's secret gambling losses. You had no right. Charlotte burst out. I had every right. Especially when you tried using my social security number to open new credit lines. That's called identity theft, sister dear. Ask Richard how that works out. My phone buzzed with breaking news. Tech billionaire saves family from financial ruin. Quantum computing air buys out family assets. Chin family dynasty under new management. Now, I stood smoothing my simple sweater, let's discuss your allowances. Allowances? Dad's voice cracked. You'll each receive a monthly stipend. Enough to live comfortably, not enough to gamble away. The houses will remain in my name. The cars too. Consider yourselves. Supervised tenants. Charlotte's perfect makeup couldn't hide her tears. You're making us your dependents? I'm preventing you from destroying yourselves, I corrected. The stipend comes with conditions. Dad enters rehab. Mom gets financial counseling. You dear sister get both plus a real job. No more fake banking careers. And if we refuse? Mom challenged. Then you can explain to your country club friends why you're living in a motel. The foreclosure notices have already been printed. I just intercepted them. My watch buzzed again. SpaceX requesting quantum computing consultation. Your choices got you here, I continued. The lies, the fraud, the desperate attempts to maintain appearances. While you were mocking my garage startup, I was building an empire. One that just saved this family from complete collapse. Dad slumped in his chair. All those times we belittled your work. Were opportunities for you to see what was really happening. But you were too busy bragging about Charlotte's fake success to notice my real achievements. I gathered my things checking the time. The stipend starts tomorrow. The conditions are non-negotiable. Consider it tough love from your struggling daughter. Morgan, mom called as I reached the door. The presents under the tree. Are the deeds, the debt settlements, and your new budgets. I smiled slightly. Plus a quantum computing textbook for Charlotte. 
Time to learn what real technology looks like. As I left, I heard Charlotte whisper, She owns us now. No, I called back. I saved you. There's a difference. Merry Christmas, family. Try not to pawn anything before New Year's. The front door closed behind me as my watch displayed one final message. Congratulations. You are now worth more than your entire family's claimed net worth combined. Sometimes the best revenge isn't just success. It's success they never saw coming. The next morning, the media circus descended. Reporters camped outside the family mansion. My mansion now. Trying to get comments from the disgraced family of America's newest tech billionaire. My phone rang. It was Charlotte. The country club canceled our memberships, she said without preamble. They said all accounts were transferred to your name. Yes, they were informed of the ownership change. I watched the news coverage from my real home, a modest but secure compound outside the city. Don't worry, you can still attend as my guests. Once you complete the required counseling. They're calling me the fraudulent fiancé in the papers, her voice cracked. My whole life is ruined. No, your facade is ruined. There's a difference. I pulled up her new schedule. Your financial literacy class starts Monday. Then therapy at 2 p.m. Don't be late. Attendance is tied to your stipend. Dad called next. The medical board wants to review my cases. They should. Drinking before surgery tends to concern them. I signed some documents transferring more family assets. Your rehab program starts next week. First class facility very discreet. The car will pick you up Tuesday. Mom didn't call. Her social media had gone dark after the society pages ran stories about the family's financial deception. Local dynasties fall from grace. The truth behind the facade. My watch buzzed with another headline. Quantum computing billionaire enforces family intervention. Sometimes saving your family means destroying their illusions first. They'd recover eventually, hopefully better for the experience. Until then, I had a technological revolution to oversee and a family fortune to manage. Properly this time. My quantum computers kept running, changing the world one calculation at a time, while my family learned what reality actually looked like. It wasn't the Christmas they expected, but it was the wake-up call they needed. Miss Chin, my assistant called. The president is holding for you. I smiled, thinking of my family's new, strictly controlled allowances. Tell him I'll be right there. I just finished some long-overdue family business.